Hello and welcome into this week's edition of the RNN Diecast Review right here on Racing News. Now, as always, I'm your host, Garth Allen. Thank you once again for joining me today. If this is your first time catching a Racing News Now video, consider going down below and hitting that subscribe button and ringing the bell for notifications so you don't miss a thing going forward from RNN. On today's Diecast Review, you know what it is. You've seen the title. We talked about it last week. It is Kevin Harvick's Kansas win. Take a look at the box here. As usual, I get the elites for my race wins. So the typical elite chrome logo, honeycomb pattern on uh, all sides of the box. And then uh, production sticker, 318 of these made in the elite series. All right, so what comes in the box with this? Your Stuart Haas Racing 10th Anniversary sticker. Cup Series winner's sticker. A little bag of confetti as usual, as comes with most of these race wins. The generic certificate of authenticity they're giving with the elites now. And of course, the race detail card. Kevin Harvick, KC Masterpiece 400 winner, May 12th, 2018, 42nd career NASCAR Cup Series victory. Harvick closes the deal at Kansas. You can pause that to read if you want to. All right, so on to the car, and it is a good-looking car. I love this bush light scheme. I love that shade of blue that they use for this bush light scheme. I just think that is a really pretty shade of blue that works fantastically well. It works really good. So, let us take a look at the car here. Of course, we'll take a look under the hood first. So if we can get this popped open here for you, maybe, there we go, I think. Aha, we got it, okay. I've started having to to poke through from the bottom because they, they've actually done pretty well with these lately in terms of how well they sit flush in the car. To where you can, you really can't get a fingernail down in there without like maybe chipping some paint or something. I feel weird trying to do that. So on the bottom of the hood, you've got uh, powered by Ford, Mobile One, Haas, Bush Light, and Wix filters. Let's take a look at the engine detail, the typical engine detail that we've gotten here for the Elites in 2018. Take a look at the nose here, a little bit of confetti down the nose. Looks pretty clean of tape, though. Uh, got Ford Fusion, SHR 10th Anniversary logo, and the number four on the hood. More confetti here, mostly down the driver's side of the car. Bush Light logo, more confetti down, again, ma mainly the driver's side of the windshield. Monster Energy banner across the top of the windshield. Kevin Harvick, or excuse me, the number four on top of the uh, roof. And one thing I want to point out here, you'll notice I don't have the antennas in here, and you'll notice a bit of uh, this number four uh, peeled away here. This is what happens when... Um, I, I, I may be wrong on this, but I, I think they didn't quite drill the hole out enough. Um because I could not get that antenna in there. Could not get it in there. No matter what I did, whittled away a little bit, just, just there was no way. The, the antenna was just slightly too big for that hole. And what it ended up doing was it ended up peeling part of the number off around on all sides the more I did it. So lesson from the wise, if it doesn't go in, just don't try to force it because then that will happen. Um, and it's totally my fault, not something I feel like I need to return it for, because it's not something that Lionel or the factory did. It's something that um, I did. I could have just not put the antenna in. I, I don't feel like the antenna is that big of a deal, so I, I lay that blame mostly on me. So it is what it is. Jimmy John's on the back of the roof here. Lots of confetti down at the back side of the car here. Uh, Harvick's name barely visible across the top of the back windshield and then bush light on the deck lid. Of course, the den is 
on the bottom of the car here because there's too much confetti on the rear window and it is DIN number 122. Take a look down the driver's side of the car here, contingency sponsors, a little bit of confetti and a little bit of scraped up on the left front tire here. Cloth window net, as usual, as we get with all of the Cup Cars Elite or ARC. Kevin Harvick down the name rail with five winner stickers. This was, of course, Harvick's fifth win of the season. Sponsors down the B post, Outback down the C post. Big Bush Light can and the Bush Light logo here around the left rear tire. Haas and Mobile One down here as well as Exalta in front of the tire. And I can't really tell what that is. See if I can get it up. Maybe the camera will help me figure it out here. Uh, maybe uh, I can't tell what that is. Maybe somebody else can tell what that is. I can't tell what that is. And then Jimmy John's back here as well. Onto the back bumper, bush light once again, a little bit more confetti, lots of confetti on this car. Ford and the number four. And then of course here down the passenger side, a little bit more confetti, but otherwise a fairly clean looking car. All right, so that is your look at Kevin Harvick's raced version from his Kansas win in 2018, 42nd career victory for the closer and fifth of the 2018 season in his quest for that second championship that ultimately came up just a bit short did make it to the championship four but as we know did not quite have the speed at homestead to compete with joey logano but a good looking car overall fairly clean uh, if you're looking for a race win with with lots of damage and marks, this isn't really the car for you, I don't think. If you like race to wins with confetti, um, if that's something you're really into, I mean, there's a lot of confetti on this car. Um, I mean, if you're just looking for a Kevin Harvick race win, if you're a Kevin Harvick fan or a Stuart Haas fan, I think this is a pretty good looking car. Um, like I said in the beginning, I really like that shade of blue they use for this Bush light scheme. I, think, I just think it looks really, really good. Um, so that is um, that is what we've got. But uh, that's all we got for you today here on the Diecast Review. Of course, Flashback Friday coming up on Friday. And then RNN News Newsbreaks might have been some this morning. Um, not really sure. I mean, it's probably pretty obvious these get recorded a little bit in advance. So um, not 100% sure when these driver announcements are coming out so might have had some RN news breaks this morning for driver announcements uh, it just depends when those came out or they might be here in the next couple of days so um, that is something to keep an eye out for if it hasn't happened already but uh, that's all we got for today's RN news break or <laughs> today's RN diecast review if you haven't done it already, go down below, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications so you don't miss a thing going forward from RNN. And while you're down there, why don't you hit that big thumbs up button if you like the video. It's much appreciated when you do. So with that, this has been the RNN Diecast Review. I'm Garth Allen for Racing News Now.